and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I share with you my top tips on how to look good, feel good, and smell good from the inside out. My name is Nani and in today's video we are talking all about smelling good. So again, if you guys love fragrance videos, make sure that you go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and of course make sure that you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more. It is free, okay? And of course in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be doing another exclusive fragrance review and it's on a fragrance that I've mentioned to you guys before. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now jumping right into it, of course I've mentioned this fragrance to you guys before and of course as you guys can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about Commodities Tonka. And I just had to, like I love this fragrance so much that I felt like it deserved its own exclusive fragrance review. And so that's why I wanted to go ahead and jump into this fragrance as well. I've described this scent to you guys before, but of course I am going to make sure to let you guys know what it smells like, when I would wear this fragrance, where I would actually wear this fragrance to, as well as how it performs on the skin. So jumping right into it, in terms of what this fragrance smells like, the notes in this fragrance are tonka bean, something called davana, as well as balsam. And all I can tell you is that it's pure, just amazingness. I love this. You guys know that I absolutely love Tonka Bean in fragrances for many reasons and this definitely is one that I'm just super impressed by. It's absolutely amazing. I did mention to you guys before that they have gone out of business. I'm not sure if they're kind of like revamping or they're trying to get purchased by another company. I'm not sure what's going on, but they did close down their doors and so it's kind of difficult for you to find the scent. But if you check your local Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you should be able to find some of the scents from this brand. But if you do find Tonka, please pick it up because it's absolutely amazing. But as I mentioned, when it comes to this fragrance, I love the fact that it's very simplistic. Again, it's obviously called Tonka, so they wanted to kind of like play up Tonka just to give you a little bit of kind of like their impression of what Tonka bean smells like in just a much more wearable form. And this is just absolutely amazing. As I mentioned, I'm not sure if they marketed this line towards men or women, but I do feel like this scent can definitely be unisex. And I do feel like this scent would be perfect to also layer with other fragrances. The only thing is that this is such a potent fragrance that I feel like it would be difficult for you to layer it with scents that are like softer. So this would be one of those things that I would recommend that you use if you are trying to add a little bit of a richness, a depth, a, a little bit more of a character to a scent that's a little bit kind of like bland in your collection. This would be a really Really good fragrance for you to use again one to two sprays of this is more than enough because it's so potent it's so pungent it's so like bam in your face in all the best ways that you don't need to go like crazy with this so again this is basically playing up the note tonka bean which I'm here for and in terms of what this smells like I'm gonna spray it mm. oh you guys when I tell you that this is probably the sexiest thing I've ever smelled in my life, I mean this is definitely the sexiest thing I've ever smelled in my life. If you can find this, please pick it up and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This is one of those beast mode fragrances. This is extremely long lasting. It's very bold. It is going to give you the scent trail that you're looking for. It'll create this nice scent bubble around you so you're gonna smell yourself all day long. It's a little bit kind of like gourmandish just because it's obviously tonka bean and you know that tonka bean has like vanillic and caramelic type of um, overtones. And so it's a little bit creamy, it's rich, it's dense, it's dark. This is one of those scents that I feel like it's such a dark, deep scent that it's a bit sexual to me. I feel like it definitely is one of those very, very sexual scents. It's extremely intoxicating, extremely like captivating and sexy and bold and just absolutely amazing. Like I really cannot hype this fragrance up enough and I'm so mad that they're going out of business. I'm sure that they're more upset than I am, but at the same time, I feel like I'm so upset that they're going out of business because now it's a little bit more difficult for me to find some other fragrances from their collection. And I do see that a lot of times you can find it on like Amazon or eBay, but the people that are selling it are really trying to rip people off in my opinion, just because I feel like if you can get your hands on it at like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, you can get it for maybe like 
under 50 bucks if you can find it so if you can't find it at marshall's or tj maxx i would say just bite the bullet and just purchase it from one of those sellers just because this is going to be a staple fragrance in your collection if you're looking to add a little bit more richness or depth or character to a fragrance or boldness to a fragrance this is definitely one that you can do to layer with, but this is going to honestly be one of those scents that you want to wear all the time. But it's so bold, it's so sexy, it's so rich, it's ro it's romantic, it's warm, it's sensual, it's sexual, it's everything. Like this scent is, I'm impressed and I am honestly in love with this fragrance. And this definitely just kind of like made my love for Taka Bean even like deeper and this is just really beautifully blended it's very just like the culmination of all the notes in this fragrance as simplistic as it is i feel like it's just perfectly blended it's not offensive although it's a bold pungent scent it's not offensive it's very like rich and creamy and it's deep and dark and sensual but it's done to perfection honestly like I am so impressed by this fragrance. As I mentioned, I've told you guys what it smells like and all that good stuff. So um, in terms of the time of the year that I would recommend this, honestly, I feel like this is going to be one of those scents that you will naturally just gravitate to. It does have like a very vanillic type of acid to it. It's very rich and creamy. It's deep and dark. It has a little bit of a chocolatey vibe to it as well. Like it smells a little bit like chocolate and it just, it's aromatic, it's spicy, it's herbaceous, it's like so good. It's so good. But in terms of when I would wear this, I would say this would probably be your go-to fall and winter scent. And definitely a very nice nighttime scent. If we're talking about date night, if we're talking about suit and tie situations, if we're talking about spe a special occasion, and we're talking about fall and winter, this would definitely be a perfect go-to. Um, in terms of wearing this during the daytime, I think that you could still definitely get away with wearing it during the daytime, but it's such a special, bold, pungent scent that I feel like you have to wear it appropriately. This would not be one of those scents that I would recommend that you wear as like a casual thing. I feel like if you wear it casually, you're kind of dissing this fragrance, just, just in my opinion. Again, do what you want, wear it as you want to, but I feel like it's one of those scents that are just so bold and pungent and just so unique that you're going to want to it's going to inspire you to dress up, if that makes sense. It's going to inspire you to want to go out. It's going to inspire you to want to get out of your shell. It's going to inspire you to just like be a little bit more bold yourself. So I absolutely love this fragrance. As I mentioned, if you guys can find it, please, please, please pick it up. And if you guys have this already in your collection, let us all know down in the comment section below how you feel about it. Obviously fragrance, you know, the smell of fragrance and how you enjoy your fragrance is very subjective. But let me know how you guys feel about this if you currently have this in your collection. And if you've been trying to figure out if this is a good fragrance to purchase, pull the trigger, please buy it. You will not regret it. So that's gonna be pretty much my final thoughts on this fragrance. Again, it's so bold, so sexy, so aromatic, just so deep, dark, sexual just like a very, very sexy scent. It's absolutely amazing and it's extremely long lasting as well. So if you are looking for something like that and you see this, please make sure that you go ahead and pick it up. And as I mentioned, if you already have this in your collection, let us all know down in the comment section how you feel about this fragrance as well. But those are going to be pretty much my final thoughts. Again, if I can find some links for you, I will make sure to leave it down in the a description box below but again thank you guys so much again for tuning into another video if you enjoy these fragrance videos make sure that you go ahead and give me a thumbs up and of course make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel for more content like this thank you guys again so much for coming back welcome if you are new to my channel i really appreciate you stopping by hopefully you'll stick around a little bit longer and again thank you guys again so much i hope you have an awesome day god willing i'll see you guys next time bye